Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After opening the Customize Report pane in QuickBooks Online, you can click the black arrow next to the Rows and Columns sections label to show the report's rows and column settings if needed. These settings also change based on the type of report you are customizing. However, there are many settings that appear here which are shared by multiple reports. This lesson reviews commonly used Rows and Columns report settings in QuickBooks Online. For reports that show an aggregation of values, or totals, you will often find a Columns drop-down. This setting lets you add columns to the report by which to view the totals shown for each row. The Show Non-Zero or Active Only setting drop-down lets you select which columns and rows to show based on account activity or non-zero amounts. In the Show Rows and Show Columns section of this drop-down, you can choose either the Active, All, or non-zero option button to filter the columns and rows. For aggregate reports that show previous period comparisons, the period comparison options appear in this section too. You can check the checkboxes in this section to add columns for previous period, previous year, or year-to-date comparisons. If checked, you can also add columns to show the change in dollar amounts, the dollar change, percentages, or percent change, or the percent of the year to date, or percent of YTD, by checking those checkboxes too. You can also check the percent of row, percent of column, percent of income, and percent of expense checkboxes to add columns that break down the percentage each row or column contributes to the total, or the percentage each income or expense account contributes to the total. For reports that show transaction details, the options in this section are very different. Some reports show a Group By drop-down that lets you group the transactions by a selection that you make. Some reports also show a Change Columns link that you can click to change the report's columns. In the list of column names that then appears, Currently displayed columns appear above the dividing line. To reorder the report columns, click and drag the icon to the left of the column names in this section up or down. The order they appear here from top to bottom is the order they appear in the report from left to right. To add columns, check the column name to add shown below the dividing line in this section to move them above the dividing line. To remove a column, uncheck the column name above the dividing line. To reset the report's columns after adding or removing them, click the Reset to Default link in the section's upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.